my grandfather was very special to me. You say he helped raise me. He took me fishing when Dad was at work, and if I missed the school bus, he'd get me to school. And when I was a little bitty fellow, my grandfather used to go buy me a pocket knife every time we went to the hardware store. I can remember sitting on the front porch with him and my uncle and my dad and trying to figure out how to peel an apple, you know, all the way around where the peel and you didn't break the peel and they could do it. I never was too good at it. I've always had a knife in my hand. I've always enjoyed making knives and just seeing it turn out from a piece of steel to, to a straight blob into a finished product. The patterns that, that my grandfather used to carry, it's really neat to come back and see different patterns that we knew that he, he used to carry. And we go out and make it, and now all of a sudden we've got a new generation carrying that pattern. When we bought the company out in, in 1991, you know, there was a lot of good employees down here. We used to have a fruit loom plant right up the road, and we used to have a lot of a lot of sewing areas. And you know, everything's moved off to Mexico. Folks that lost their jobs here. I mean, I, our tool and die gentleman. He come from over fruit loom. He's been here 15, 16 years. I got a young lady behind me here. She come from the sewing mills, and she's been with me over 20 years. You know, 88 jobs for a small community is important. I try to go through every morning and say good morning, how we're doing, ask how this one's dad's doing because he's been sick, or I know we've got an employee getting married. And it's, it's neat to have the customers call and say, hey, we appreciate you making a USA product. It's not really hard to make things in America because you can always find a vendor here that, that wants to be as proud as we are of an American-made product. We make about 85% of the components that go into our knives. Our son Matt does the tool and die design. And then we have a tool shop that makes the dies that stamp out the parts. So we buy the steel, stamp out the parts, make the parts, put them together. It's very important that, that we keep jobs in the United States and, and that, we, that the consumer also looks for, for American-made products. The diversity of our product line is very, very unique. We're the only cutlery company here in the United States that turn around and does traditional knives, lock backs, we do sideliner locks, fillet knives, hunting knives, and then we get into our military line, the bear ops and the butterfly. We try to bring out 15 to 20 new SKUs or new knives every year. I've never had a customer come to our facility and not walk through the facility and not buy from us. All the different steps and the people and all the equipment and everything you got, how can you not walk out of this building and not appreciate what's being made in the building? I really feel a connection with Birmingham and really the, the northern part of Alabama because it is a labor-intensive community. And you know, there's a lot of red dirt here in Alabama, red clay. It's got a deep heritage of this area working with metals. It's been very, very rewarding and it's a step back saying, you know, I can be proud of that. <laughs>